she's a creamer. She warbles and she flies. But I never give her water till the fourth day of July. Introduce one of the uh, one of the group up here. He's one of our freshmen this year. Though he don't look like he's a freshman. Good Lord, he's about seven feet tall. You just heard him sing. You just heard him pick. Ladies and gentlemen, from up on Spivey Mountain, Mr. Adam Miller. Give it up for him. He don't really talk much. Uh, he just kind of grunts every now and then whenever he's hungry or has to go to the bathroom. So, are you all right? That's the same way this group is. You all right? You're good. Hey, you talk. Check that out. Tell us, get in on that mic like I told you. One. Hey, get right in there. That's right. Hang on this way. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. That's it. That's what the setup was. All right, we're going to keep things moving here. We're going to do a... Let's do a little... Are anyone familiar with the Pure Prairie League? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. From now on, whenever someone says Pure Prairie League, someone has to go, oh, yeah. Let's <laughs> we'll start a trend here, folks. Anyways, we're going to play one of their hits. You may have heard it on the radio a couple times, maybe on a couple classic rock stations, maybe some country stations. Who knows? There's a little song called Amy. Yeah. Are we ready, boys? Come on. One, But now you're off with someone else and I'm alone You see, I thought that I might keep you for my own Amy, what you want to do I think I can stay with you for a while Amy, what you want to do? I think I can stay with you for a while. 
what you want to do. I think I can stay with you for a while, maybe longer if I do. sophomore senior. She's kind of a veteran. I guess we can call her a veteran here. This is her third time. Second time? Third time here? Here? I think third time. Third time here, ladies and gentlemen. Not only is she a BGB veteran, she's a Crooked Road General Store veteran. Give it up for Miss Courtney Harris. sing you guys a nice little gospel song here. It's one called I Believe.
singers this year, ladies and gentlemen. Watch out now, because here she comes, Miss Bailey Robinson. Give it up for her. How you doing, Bailey? I'm doing super. See, we don't have to worry about her grunting whenever she's hungry. She's pretty open. Careful. Hey, we were doing a show one time. I was switching instruments. I said, someone's got to talk. She got up and said, all right, folks, here we go. And I was like, Bailey? <laughs> we just got on a new song. Why are we singing, Bailey? You tell me. I just think I'll stay around. I just think I'll stay around. There we go. Good for the rest standard. Take it off, man. showcase our banjo player. That one. Does he need <laughs> You're thinking of banjo jokes, are you? So am I. But I'm biting my tongue. Otherwise, he'd leave. That's what I... 
He's kind of like the puppet master behind this whole ordeal, you know. If he ain't happy, nobody's happy. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up from up in Hogskin. Don't ask me. Mr. Lincoln Hensley, give it up. original. And for the sake of TV, it's copyrighted. Yeah, that's right. There you go. We debated for a month as to what to call that. We came up with what? Hog skin, coat hanger, Cow you name it. <laughs> Lincoln's breakdown, Lincoln Hensley and the Onion Valley Troubadours. I mean, we had the list goes on. Finally, he was like, I'm going to call it emergency break. Okay. Say Bonjo, come Bonjo. What are we going to do 
next, boys. There's girls with lip That's right. You have Dan Lincoln, too. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna keep things. We've decided now. Okay, the vote's in. We're gonna do a little prison song. Who likes prison songs? Who likes prison? Who's ever been to prison? Just kidding, don't answer that question. You know what? Bluegrass just isn't bluegrass without prison songs. Out of the like seven categories of traditional bluegrass songs, prison's about number one. That's okay. We love it. And it's always prison over murder or something. It's 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 really quite heartwarming. It's, like, it's never over tax evasion. That's right. It's never over the like, shoplifting over five hundred dollars. It's like murder and all kinds of stuff. Anyways, there's a little tune called "Doing My Time."
He's one of our uh, freshman banjo players, ladies and gentlemen. He came on just this year, and he is coming right along. Give it up for Mr. Benjamin Benjamin Edwards. Woo! <laughs> Benjamin doesn't talk a lot either, but he does one grunt occasionally. <laughs> Do you need us to help you tune? Everybody get my eight. No, 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 that's okay. <laughs> two more songs here. Uh, we're going to do Van's song, and then we'll do one more, and then we'll maybe go grab a bite to eat. I hear it's pretty good. I might be mistaken. No, I'm just kidding. I've had it before. It's really good. We're going to grab a bite to eat, and then we will be right back. We'll play another 45-minute set, maybe two and a half hours set. Depends on what time they call along. <laughs> Somebody raised their 
That's good, smart investing, but here's what you have if you don't have that. You have a hillbilly 401k. So you just get you a dime and drop it down in there and hide that away somewhere. So we're going to put these back there with Tanner. If you are interested in some of these things, please take those home on the break. And also the band is going to play another couple of songs for you. We've got a treat we're going to bring around. Tanner, can you come up here, please? Where'd he go? He's on the porch. Somebody holler at Tanner during this song. All right, guys, you're good. Oh, I'm switching. Oh, he's switching. You can shoot that. All right, we're going to play two more songs here for you guys. Uh, first off, or first to last song, we are going to uh, slow things down a little bit, give you all a chance to... Uh, if any of y'all are here with someone that you want to have a magical moment with, now is the time. Darren, a song about heartbreak. It's no perfect. <laughs> so grab your sweetheart, find you a spot somewhere, get slow dancing. If you don't have a sweetheart, grab anyone. Someone here will take you. All right. <laughs> any Floyd Kramer fans with us? Any Floyd Kramer fans? Oh, we got one, two, three. Tune called Fade of Love.
on the uh, Crooked Road on the old Southern Porch offer to Faye tonight to keep on making these dolls and Jim to keep making those great toys. $58 on behalf of the Christmas. All right, how many of you celebrate St. Patrick's Day? Two of them. We've got, we've got just enough prizes. Hey, let's do a great big welcome home to uh, Becky. She went to Florida for three weeks. Let's hear it for Becky. Can you show us your tan line? We want to see your tan line. The, oh, it was cloudy and uh, overcast in Florida, as you can see. Tanner's going to be bringing you a treat around just to say uh, uh, happy St. Patrick's Day. And pinch anybody next to you who uh, is not wearing green all throughout this next song. All right, Tanner. All right, thank you. We're going to play one more, and then we are going to skedaddle for a little bit, and then we'll be right back. Here's for uh... That was funny. That was funny. Anyways, we're going to play this song, take you guys back in the day. Any Glenn Campbell fans with us? Woo! All right, you guys are going to like this. Yeah. Ben told me to do something else, and I, I, I completely forgot about it. I'm sorry, Ben. Next set. Yeah, fresh meat. That's right. Ready, boys. One, two, three. It's known that your door is always open in Matthew's free of war. And that's continuing my sleeping bag when I've been stashed on the couch. Shackled by forgotten words and bonds in the ink stains that have dried up on its own mind. That keeps you in the back roads by the rivers of Carmel. That keeps you ever gentle on your mind. It's not clinging to with the rocks and I've been planting all their colonies down to bind me. Or something. Somebody said, because they thought we'd fit together on you. It's just knowing that the world will not be cursing or forgiving when I walk along some river on a track in the line. And you're waving from the back roads by the rivers of my bend, and for hours you're just gentle on the
guys very much. We'll be right back.
Bailey again. Yeah. You know, if you notice, if you if you study, if you hang around bluegrass fans long enough, or really any group for that matter, you can. Yeah, you might end up in jail. Yeah, you know, it's kind of, that's a possibility. Um, no, I'm well. <laughs> Anyways, if if you watch them real closely, you'll notice that every single member in the band has this kind of language that they talk to each other without talking. It's all in the eyes and the head nods and the nose stuff and the leg and the leg and do this, you know. It's it's pretty complicated, but I have no idea how I understand them at all. Like sometimes I get mixed signals. Like go no, go, yes, go now. You know. It's like if your Rosetta Stone's broken. This is going up four different languages. Anywho, I digress. Okay, Bailey. <laughs> what are we gonna do? Kentucky border line. Yeah. Oh, really? <laughs> we are. We are. The whole band needs to do their eyes during the first night. Everybody, all together.
Something. Yeah, Bailey, how about you talk a little bit about this one? Yeah. Um, you know, Jesus is the bomb. And um, when you heard me say that to Larky, it's because this song gets really old really fast. Great meaning to it, though, guys. Great meaning. <laughs> Bailey Robertson. Robertson. Did I say Robertson? Robertson. I'm thinking about Doug Donaldson. I didn't think my beard was that noticeable. <laughs> She's a regular old stand-up comedian now, ain't she, folks? Okay, so we're going to play a nice little church hymnal here. Turn to, your red, <laughs> turn to your red books to page 43. It's a little called Leaning on the Everlasting Army. Yeah. Feature him here in a here in a little bit. Y'all you know, gonna love him. <laughs> <laughs> okay. My dad's watching. Thanks for letting us use your base, Dad. I appreciate it. Thanks, Eric. <laughs> Everybody say hi to Eric. Hi, hi, hi Eric. You know he records this, so here in about I don't know a couple weeks he's gonna be like, okay, hi Eric. <laughs> <laughs>
church, and I also pat my leg while I do that. <laughs> <laughs> Where did we find her? The answer is we don't know. My mom and dad don't know either. <laughs> well, that's pretty bad. She just kind of, she was there. And we we're like, we're having tryouts. Okay, Haley Robinson. There she comes. Hey. Okay. Tryouts. She was like, what's your name? Uh, Bailey Robinson. Did you say Belil? I have known this child all my life. That's right. <laughs> Okay, so now, um, <clears throat> anyone here uh, kind of like swing music, jazz music, oh, yeah. about the yeah. and stuff? Yeah. Boys? No? Okay, no, I haven't spoken a lot. Y'all pray for me. <laughs> anyway, we're going to kind of swing things here a little bit with nice little instrumentals. So if you want to get up and jive a little bit, whatever you want, don't do it like that. I'm just kidding. Just, if you want to get up and move around a little bit, you feel free to go right on in outside. <laughs> Okay, here's a little song called Lady Be Good.
right, let's do it. All right, Ben, I'm about to refill your request. Fill it. Fulfill. Fulfill. That's the word. <laughs> refill it up. Well, I didn't make it last time, so I've got to go back. Anyway. So Ben suggested that we do this last set, and I kind of ignored him. I sincerely apologize, so make it up for him. We're going to play this song. And if my papa's watching, this one goes after you, Papa. And Paul and Granny sitting at home now. <laughs> And Ben, it mainly it goes after Ben too. But I know they're probably at home watching this, going, "Oh, he's gonna play." <laughs> I'm just kidding. They don't really talk. Ready? Kick it. Here, hold on a second. Let's move over here a little bit more. Thank you. 
organize a space party. You plan it? <laughs> okay, and this one's from the little lady up front. If I remember all of it correctly. Why was the bumblebee crossing its legs? Oh, flying around crossing its legs. It was trying to find a BP station. <laughs> Miss Rod, she's a good investment. We're keeping this one. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I cannot, absolutely cannot stress how very important this person back here is. He, uh, we, I texted him last night, last minute, our bass player couldn't make it, and he was so grateful or gracious enough, that's the word, gracious enough to come up here. He, you know, we're grateful he's here. Gracious enough to come up here and play bass with us. He's a bluegrass band alumni. Alumnus, that's the word. Bluegrass band alumnus, Mr. Troy Boone, give it up for him. I'm giving it over to him. Hey, Troy, your name's on that door. Yeah, I know. What are we doing? 99 years in the key of B coin? I got a blister on top of a blister, so y'all are welcome. Thank you, Troy.
I did have to call me home right now shaking his hand. Discussing our bluegrass interests and the topic beliefs. <laughs> the topic of Del McCurry came up, and nothing against Del McCurry. I actually cut a Del McCurry on my record. Insert free plug here, which will be out in May if you guys want to pick it up on iTunes. First impressions, baby. There you go. Anyway, um, we were discussing Del McCurry, and I was like, you know, I like Del McCurry a lot. I just don't like his singing. And that's the day that Lincoln broke my heart, ladies and gentlemen. Because he had that blonde hair curling over his eyes, and they welled up with tears and a big old frown. <laughs> and so, because of that, I decided to learn this song, and we started doing it. And it's always been one of my favorite bluegrass songs, so this is Vincent Black Lightning, 1952. Yeah. Don't have a soul like Vincent. 
in 52. Well, he grabbed her by the hand and he slipped her in the queue. Said, I don't have any further news for these. Say, can't you hold us on? Everyone's in there. Come on, 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 Crowd song here for you guys. What's it called, Troy? Blue Trail of Sorrow. What kind of trail? Blue. And what is it of? Sorry. It's the happiest song you'll ever hear in your entire life. Walk all over town, sweet tears of sadness fall. 
thing my blister popped on his pitch. Hey, yeah. Yes. <laughs> Nothing is stronger than the bond between two pop blisters. I think I've seen you put that in your mouth that night. <laughs> Not anymore. <laughs> Going to go home and wash it. Alright, we got about two more songs left for y'all. We really appreciate all you guys coming out here. Thank you very much. You guys have made all this possible. All right, you're already committed. Joe Lewis is committed. You, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Lewis, you're, getting down. you're getting a little too wild. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, making our way to the stage now is another BGB alumnus. Give it up for Miss Allison Miller. Yeah. That's my sister. That's his sister. Her name's on the door, too. She thought she could evade us all night, but no. Thank you, Mr. Lewis. Uh, oh. Yeah, Mr. Lewis, you sing bass. Oh. Once again, thank you guys very much for coming out here. Um, if you'd like to contact us in any way, you can how? Okay, there you go. Call Unicoi County High School and ask for the drama room. They'll put you right through to Miss Wright for any of your birthday parties, weddings, or any other extravaganzas. <laughs> hey, we've got a wedding before. We oh, yeah. have. Anything. Anything at all. If we can, welcome. That's right. I was just in train train. Interesting, uh, fun little fact. This song was originally a rock and roll song by the band Blackfoot. And then Dolly Parton turned it into a bluegrass song. Woo! Yeah. She likes Dolly. A little train train for you, folks. Oh, yeah, good one. <laughs> I can see it in our <laughs>
Mr. Adam Miller. Uh, I guess that's our last song. No, hold on. Have you 
enjoyed this great band? <laughs> so I come in tonight and I'm crossing the parking lot and I see Pat in her car. And she's sitting there and every week when I go to Pat, I say, hey Pat, how's, this go how's it going? She says, it's going great. Everything's good. Everything's fine. I got to her car today. She said, I'm mad as I can be. So I thought, well, this is going to be a great night. So I let her fill me in on what she was mad at, and then I got mad, and it's contagious. So that's how we do sometimes. We let uh, stories kind of carry over. Within five minutes of coming inside the building, Pat had been thumbing through some of her uh, Facebook things there, and there was a picture on there with a message on there that told me and her both to mind our own business and get happy. Um, it's just, uh, I like it when we find good messages like that, so, um, the music does the same thing for me. Nothing thrills me more than to look out here and see you guys smiling and toe-tapping and dancing and clapping and having a great time. Um, nephew David wasn't feeling good tonight, almost didn't get to come, he's here. We especially want to welcome back this week, Bernice Poe is in the house. Yeah. <laughs> We had a lot of prayers for you, Bernice, and her health is not good. I'll just tell you, she's got uh, things she's facing every day, and it's that old word chronic where it's not going to get much better, but the better in it is going to be as much prayers we're willing to offer and as much peace as she's willing to find in that. So I ask you to continue your prayers for Bernice. Anybody else that's going through struggles, I can look out across the room and know things that all of us are going through, but just know that every Monday night... If, if you don't feel anything else, feel like when you left here that you're surrounded by friends and family, you're loved very much, and you're cared for a lot. And I know the band appreciates that. They've been listening to me the whole time. They've heard everything I've said. <laughs> I wrote a song about it that I'd like Lincoln to sing. <laughs> I'm sorry, I missed that. I was... <laughs> What'd you say? Oh, Lincoln, when, when Lincoln gets here, his hair is here, his bow tie is here, his shirt is here, his vest is here. By the time he leaves, his bow tie is here. <laughs> Y'all should have seen him in the New Orleans. I mean, his hair was all in there. That's a New Orleans style. We love you an awful lot. Again, thank you, Faye and Jim, for coming tonight. We've got Faye's phone number, and you're going to be able to see it on the show some there. Keep these things in mind. You might run across somebody that wants just that thing for these kids that are collecting the American Girl. Also, Wise Guys. That's what I've named your trick business, uh, Wise Guys. And uh, so, yeah, I like that. <laughs> Whatever. And uh, again, thank you to the kitchen. Thank you to Tim. Thank you to Jim. Thank you to uh, all the ones that help get things set up, especially our dishwasher, Jim. Becky, welcome back home. And without further ado, we'll close it up. Good night again. Thank you for Sister Coming Faith. And uh, we appreciate you being here. Without further ado, we'd like to close the show by saying thank you again to the Unicorn County High School Band. Thank you. Keep your right hand up, keep your hand on the road.
Benjamin Edwards, everybody. Thank you guys very much. God bless. Have a safe trip home.